We are one step closer to Starship launching its orbital test flight. Now that the FCC has granted its license, we're still waiting on the FAA to complete its environmental assessment, but this is all looking pretty good for launching in quarter one. So keep in mind, SpaceX still needs the FAA to complete that environmental assessment. They're thinking that'll be completed by December 31st, but we've overcome a major hurdle in having the FCC grant its license. And I wanna draw your attention to the actual license right here. It has been granted for SpaceX for dates between December 20th and March 1st. Obviously, we don't think it's gonna be through the 20th to the 31st, because we're still waiting on that approval. The purpose is for experimental orbit demo and recovery tests of the Starship test vehicle from Boca Chica, Texas. And while we're on the theme of taking a stroll down memory lane, remember this. Yeah, it was just about a year ago that SN8 took its high altitude test flight. And boy, I'm sure that we can all remember those very exciting seven minutes and then... Yeah, that was also exciting. And actually, SpaceX was very thrilled. They said that this test exceeded its expectations even with that fiery explosion. Let's watch it again. And on that day, Elon Musk said, congrats us, SpaceX team, hell yeah. Reminds me of some other time I've heard that phrase. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> There is so much going on at Starbase, and I have a few updates to share with you, including this first picture that I want to show you. RGV aerial photography shows us this great comparison, about a three year difference between Starbase three years ago and today. And you can just see how much it has grown and changed in just that time from January, 2019 to November, 2021. I love looking at these before and after photos and you can really see, even if you go down there and visit, when I was there, things were changing every single day. So it's definitely an exciting place to be. There's a lot of great energy there and I am hoping to get back for do, 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 the orbital test flight. Yeah, I would really like to get down there for it. And obviously the big question is when the heck when the heck is this thing gonna be? Well, we know that it's looking likely for quarter one still, now that we have the FCC's approval, still need the FAA's. But hold the phone, Elon Musk is actually having a dilemma. He's thinking about quitting his jobs. Seriously, look at it in this tweet. He says, thinking of quitting my jobs and becoming an influencer full time, what do you think? Well, Elon, I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that you're already an influencer, whether you like it or not. While we are on the ever entertaining Elon's Twitter, he also tweeted saying that, wow, only three weeks to 2022. What will 2032 be like? Seems so futuristic. Will we be on Mars? And that's a great question. I wanna know from you, do you think that by 2032 we'll be on Mars? Let me know what you think. I love keeping you guys in the loop. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. And I have so much content that I'm working on. I also really wanted to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Your support means a lot. And it's just been so cool to see the Ellie and Space channel grow. If you can believe it, back in February of this year, I had 200 subscribers. And in that time, I have grown to over 27,000 space enthusiasts. So it still blows my mind. It's very exciting. And I'm trying to do my best to keep you guys up to date. Obviously, this is not my full-time job, but I really do enjoy keeping you in the loop. So thank you so much for all the support.